Grenades! Where are all the new grenades? Think about it people, since before the Black Sight 3 event, we haven't had any new additions to the game in terms of grenades. The last was the gas core which came with a bloody harvest, which is an amazing grenade by the way, but since the only new additions have been in terms of anointments applied to older variants. Well today guys we check out a new grenade to the Moxis DLC, but it's only a rare well hey, does that even matter nowadays? How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So guys, the one new addition I can remember in terms of grenades is the one rewarded from the campaign story. Well along the way of you completing it. So it's definitely one you will eventually come across people. And don't people, as many I know, will disregard said items because they are of that rare blue variant. So this grenade called the Acid Burn is rewarded to you when you complete the winners and losers section of this DLC. And looking at this rare grenade, it like many specific rewards from this DLC are indeed put in place as items to help you progress further through this DLC. Remember Gearbox mentioned you could start this game a fresh from this DLC, meaning you could go into this game, go into Borderlands 3, starting at a level 1 from this DLC and progress from here. I believe this grenade is for someone that started BR3 this way and this grenade would be an amazing addition to their loadout. But for people who started way back when, I ain't sure. So the acid burn, hack the planet, 4430 damage, 532 radius with the longbow and acid burn prefixes. Converts loader bots to fight on your side for 8 seconds. So using this grenade, honestly besides its true intentions, it's actually not too bad. I mean for 100% sure, there are many many variants of grenades in this game which are far superior, but this thing is great for that handsome jackpot gameplay, and I'd probably just leave it at that. Using it off of the handsome jackpot, I mean it's just like any other box standard grenade in this game, but how effective is it on the handsome jackpot? Well its damage output is decent against those robots anyway due to it being a corrosive variant. But comparing this to my gas cool, nope, the gas cool is absolutely miles apart as one would expect. So what about its party trick? How effective is it? Well people, after a little testing I can tell you it works like it should. The problem is here, you can kill these robots before they even had the chance to react to you. So making them allies in my opinion doesn't help much and is a little pointless. I mean if you land a certain set of modifiers playing on Mayhem 3 which are against the grain, for sure this could help you. But also the damage they do against other enemies when fighting along you is minute so in my opinion it still isn't worth it at all. I mean there are many many grenades you can get in this game from vending machines and other places that are just so much better than this. I mean, yes, it's a rare, uh, yes, everyone will get it for completing a Moxie's Heist and DLC campaign story. Why would it be OP? Well, you could say the same about the Iron Cannon, that's a guaranteed drop. Everybody who completes the DLC will get that, and that thing is considered well OP. But yeah, but different variants, different rarities, whatever, I understand. One thing that it does offer is about two minutes of entertainment, though. As if you go ahead and farm the Scrap Trap boss for those are legendaries, you first have to fight off the Scrap Trap nest. And these grenades actually work on these scrap traps too. So you can sit back and watch them have a scrap trap battle royale. But yeah guys, other than that, this grenade is one of those also popular novelty items. Good on paper, useless really in execution. I mean it's decent on the handsome jackpot. It works wonders against robots because of the corrosive it offers. Take it outside of the handsome jackpot though, use it anywhere else. And unless rolls are perfect for you and this grenade, it isn't worth the space in your inventory in my opinion. So yeah guys, on that note we have come to the end of the video. This has been the review of the Acid Burn Grenade rewarded from the winners and losers story section of the Moxis Heist and the Handsome Jackpot DLC. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Gearbox if you're watching this please add some amazing new legendary.